Alright, what's up guys? This is Bloodbirds here, and I'm here playing some Dragon Ball Z fighters and stuff like that. And then, since I got a new fighting game that I just uploaded a couple... Sure maybe hours ago? A couple, two hours? A couple, two, three hours? I've been having fun with that one. You know, I'm kind of a noob at it, and other people are kicking my ass and shit, and I'm trying to know which one is my main character. And since I play Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, and they have one of the characters in there, I kind of take on the mantle of picking her up and stuff like that, which her name is Lynn. Uh, but either way, the more I freaking play Dragon Ball Fighters, the more I get annoyed by it. Mostly because I already know the mechanics and I know how things work and stuff like that. And how there's like no freaking guard break or something else. I mean, there's a guard break, which is a Dragon Rush, but that takes like two seconds just to grab. So it's kind of bullcrap, so I mean, like shit. And. And so, and so in a way, I'm getting kind of fed up about it, like in a way. And then, and then I even get fed up about Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, mostly because his auto combo, which is A A A, I believe, which mostly goes for square. If you press square about like three times and stuff like that, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito has like a lock in command so where the heck you're at he'll just turn right away and just hit you anyways and since this guy like but like this guy mostly pressed that a lot and he even goes to level three sometimes but his level three is not really so so expensive like like he ain't risking it he's just playing it safe like like a basic one two combo in the air or on the ground or whatever and then just go for a level three. I mean like shit. If if you got something that goes in the air and you could like, just extend that shit for a little bit more longer, then go for the level three when you're trying to extend the combo but it feels more rewarding that way. And and there's times where if you go down heavy, which will be down circle and it gives the opponent an uppercut and you're like up in the air by like 20 inches to say, 20 to 10 inches, and it still gets you. That's that's just bullcrap. Honestly, that is just bullcrap. Uh, how how things are, uh, how things are, and stuff like that. Trying to go like, oh, I'm on top of your head. Get about like five inches, and then when you try and do down circle, it's like, oh, I got you, and so you can't do nothing about it. That's kind of like what the hell kind of way. I mean, like shit. And and there's other times where if you have an opponent that is punching you and you're blocking most of those combos, and you see that you got like a two second window to disappear. Well, it doesn't seem like it's grabbing that command button, and I can't even go back to my old records of me fighting and it'll it'll show that I'm pressing a certain button and it won't really like like the game recognize it but it won't recognize fully in order to disappear to that point. So that's kinda like what the heck kinda way. Like it's really dumb anyway. And and yeah sure if you're like new to the game, which I know a couple of friends are new to the game and stuff like that, they're they're, they're they're having a blast. And for some of them who already get into it and you see them like holy shit, like this dude's like wrecking me because he's doing this and this and this or he's doing this other thing, calling the sis, calling the other sis and switching bodies later on and stuff like that and he managed to do a level three or level one after Kanyan combo and stuff. Yeah, sure that's that's overwhelming when you're playing this game. Oh yeah, it is. I mean, like, shit. Yeah, I think this game's like a year old already, or something like that. And and that's how I feel with the other new games, the Under Night in Birth latest edition, or whatever you can call, it, or units, technically. And that's how I feel. But the more I'm learning the game, and the more I learn about the mechanics and what kind of combo go with the Twitch combo and stuff. It, it, it really does better, but for someone that's picking up the game, it's kind of better if you try and learn it yourself than looking up on YouTube videos. But if you ain't got the time for it, then yeah, go for YouTube videos stuff. But 
there are characters in this game that are so annoying that they don't give you a chance whatsoever or even locks in with a homing attack and it's like like nah I ain't gonna let you go like it doesn't matter or there's even auto combos because people just bitch a lot because they're all like this game's too hard this game's way too damn hard that I can't win a single game in order to do it and so they added auto combos into it so I was like, what the hell? I mean, like, shit. You don't see Street Fighter having auto combos. You don't see other games that have auto combos. Like the one that I have, I mean, the, the Undernight Inverse. That one has an auto combo, but you could extend that. It's the same. Like, like, like it does have an auto combo, but it won't go. Like, let's say it does light to medium to heavy, and it's a running button from heavy, which it goes to a heavy button. And. If you don't like that combo, you could extend that shit where it's like something better. Let's say if you go forward, right, light, light, then you go heavy down along with heavy down. Or no, light and medium heavy to medium down. Or if you want medium heavy, upper, medium. And you could like send the opponent flying and you could extend that kind of way. Like, like, like you're gonna, you're gonna send the opponent flying for like a couple inches and so you could, you could try to get to it real quick and stuff like that. There's even a running button, which I'm not used to in my character, great cards to have running because that's how that character works. That's how I play her. So I mean, that's it. But, yeah, you know that, this guy is pretty good. Had a lot of fun. I've been playing a lot of yellow people and yellow people were way higher than me and so I'm like what the hell? Like why am I fighting yellow people instead of fucking my my people and shit? But I can see that my people are too they're too below average sort of way and then the yellow people are a little more advanced and they know what the hell they're doing and stuff, so I mean like shit. But But yeah. I mean Dragon Ball Fighters, yeah, sure, it's fun when you get used to it. But the more you learn it, the more the mechanics work, the more this and this and how this other stuff works and how you can build with the combo and stuff like that. That's just because you're a nerd because you, know, because you know what the heck to do. And then, yeah, the logic on that game is not fair enough for the player to enjoy themselves anyway. Like, if you're someone that's like 3 inches, 5 inches up in the air, just like I did right there with Vegito, that was like, like okay, yeah, sure, that, but he was rushing. Like, alright, but then, but, but if you got something else going on, there, 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 there's been some point in the game, I don't know if it's, I, I don't know if it's in this one though, but there was some point in the game where I did an uppercut, and it was going left, and he backed right, like how the hell does that work, even though if, 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 my, if the game was recognized and saying that he's going to go left, so I went for an uppercut that was going to go left, and saying he goes fucking right, so I was like, what the hell, so I mean like shit, but, that's, that's just me though, but, but, but this game, yeah, sure, it's fun, great, awesome. I hate, and I, I, I even heard people saying like, Dragon Ball Fighter is the best fighting game ever, and so I was like, okay, you're saying this game is the best fighting game ever, but yet there's still a little bit more bugs and some mechanics and some logic to hitboxes that are making this kind of crappy, and yet the same is the best game ever. Even though Dragon Ball Fighters is going to be an evil, but then they're saying that there's not enough people resisting for Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball for Dragon Ball Fighters and evil. They're working more on Under Night and Birth for some reason. But I see a whole bunch of YouTubers just playing that fucking game just to see what the hell it was about and what's the big commotion about. And now all of a sudden, when I played that game, which I literally bought it like on Saturday, on Saturday a shitload of people were playing the damn game. Like literally, every time I join a match, it's like every five minutes. I go to a casual lobby, there's like seven rooms available just to whoop your ass and shit. So it's like, what the hell? What's going on? Why why, why, is, it, why, why is there so much many people trying to play this damn game? And but when you come to Dragon Ball Fighters, there's a whole bunch of casual people and those people that don't know how to play this game are pretty kind of annoying though, but you know how it is, right? So I mean, like shit. But, either way, that's pretty much it. Uh, I am going to upload more Dragon Ball Fighters later on, probably without commentary, and I'm going to upload more Under Night and Verse because I love that game a lot more. So, see you guys later, and thanks for watching. Bye.